In this question, we are going to simplify this complex fraction. And the strategy is, we are going to first identify what the lowest common denominator is for the little fractions, and then we'll multiply everything by the lowest common denominator. And as we can see, we only have these two little fractions. We first focus on the little denominators like this and that, right? So here we have y, here we have y squared. What is the lowest common denominator? They're the same base, right? We pick the higher power for the lowest common denominator. So it will be y to the second power, OK? And we know if we're doing this right or wrong, because after we multiply everything by the lowest common denominator, we should not have little fractions in the big fractions anymore. Let's check this out. Right here, I'm going to multiply the 6 with this y squared. And I will multiply this by y squared as well. And I'll multiply this by y squared. And I'll multiply this by y squared. OK? And now, let's see what do we have right here. Well, for this one, we just have the 6y squared. And then we add it with this right here is 7 over y times y squared. You can just subtract the power. 2 minus 1, you have y to the first power left. So that will be 7y to the first. OK? So one of the y's can sort it out. And you see no more little fraction here. Over, this is 36y squared minus the y squared, y squared, they cancel each other out completely. Earlier, we only cancel out one of the y's, so we have 7y. But this time, they cancel each other out altogether, and we have minus 49 right here. And now what? Can we do more? Can we simplify this? Yes, because we can factor and cancel, right? On the top, you see we have the y squared and the y, so we can first factor out the y. We will do that right here. Well, originally we have the 6, and we didn't factor any number, so it's still 6. This was y squared, but we took 1y out, so y to the first then. 3 plus 7, because we didn't take out any numbers, and the y is out already. y times 6y plus 7, right? And then, as of the bottom, 36y squared minus 49. How can we factor this out? This is the difference of two squares. And we have to look at this as something to the second power minus something to the second power. To get 36, we have to put down 6 right here. 6 to the second power gives us 36. And then for the y squared, I just have to have the y inside, y squared, right? And then for the 49, we know that is 7 squared. This is how we are going to get ready, right? And then to factor this out, we will get 6y minus 7 and then times 6y plus 7, the formula for the difference of two squares. And now, what can we do? You see that this and that are identical. They are exactly the same. And we can cancel these two factors out. At the very end, the only thing that we have left is y on the top over 6y minus 7 on the bottom. And this right here is it.